I just thought that I would talk a little bit about reflexology and the various different types of reflexology in terms of is one better than the other? Because this is a subject that's cropped up for me over the previous six weeks where different people have been sharing the beauty and the benefits of all different sorts of reflexology. And I am amazed at how many different types of reflexology there are. Now, yes, I practice and teach gentle touch reflexology, and I do think it's absolutely fantastic. But I just want to say that every different form of reflexology has its own validity, has its own place and space. And one form of reflexology is not better than another form. We're all part of the beautiful spectrum of this fantastic therapy called reflexology. And when we think about various different types of different people, we need to be the people that we are. We're all unique, we all love different types of ways of living, we live in different homes, we have different beliefs, we like different foods, we wear different clothes, we wear our hair differently. Just everybody is different and that's what makes the world the special place that it is. And that's the same in reflexology. There isn't one form of reflexology that's right for us all. In fact, one of the truest benefits of reflexology is when we all share our own special belief in what we particularly believe in. And then as every person watches, listens to, learns from practices, reads about, sees videos, learns different things from different people. And then they can find the thing that's right from them. They may already know it. They may not need to go on any CPD courses. They may not need to read any books. They may not need to watch any videos. They must possibly have the most beautiful natural talent and it's important that we remember that some people are very instinctive and natural and they have their own beautiful connection to source and already know how to help people without having to learn things. I know myself and I don't know whether you've had those experiences too where I've gone to bed at night and I've not known something and I've woken up in the morning and I thought ah that's the answer to that's why this is like that. That's why that's the happening. Because sometimes we just get our gifts when we're beautiful, quiet, still and asleep. So maybe we haven't been on a training course. Maybe we've just got in touch with our instinctive knowing. But it's also a beautiful thing to be able to go on training courses and CPD courses. Because you're always, always going to pick up something from somebody. I, I personally have a belief which was handed down to me by somebody very special, which was if you go on a course and you learn one thing that changes your life, then that's worth going on. Right? You have had the truest benefit. You may not have benefited from the whole of the eight hours. You may have been on a long course. The course I've just been running is reflexology for babies and children in Ireland, and it was four days. And it's a practitioner and instructor training program and we pack loads of stuff in it maybe somebody only got the benefit of one thing that changed their life but if it changes their life then it was worth going so i want to just say that everybody needs to be the reflexologist that they actually are there isn't one form of reflexology that actually makes a difference to everyone maybe everybody just needs to be who they genuinely are and not try to be anybody else. The true you is the best thing that you can bring to any client. And we're all part of the magnificent rainbow of reflexology. And yes, we're very, very different. And that's what makes it so special. We all bring our own vibration, our own knowledge, our own life skills, all the things you've been through in life, that's what we bring to reflexology. And I know that when we hold the UK Reflexology Conference in March 2018, that's part of my mission for putting the conference on, is bringing everybody together so we all get chance to meet each other and celebrate with each other and hug and share and learn and see and witness because the more people we connect with, with our love of reflexology, the more the field of reflexology benefits. And as we pull together and not separate ourselves, the stronger we get. So reflexology is in such fantastic hands because it's in your hands. 
and you know and you love about reflexology and I know and I love about reflexology but I know about it my way and you know about it your way. So as we all pull together as reflexologists celebrating our differences and experiencing the mutual love and joy of helping people, helping people towards better health physically, emotionally and energetically we become the most fantastic rainbow of reflexology. So I'm here in Wales at the moment, I've just come back from Ireland, I'm just going home to England and I've been through all these countries. I was in Taiwan and Dubai a short while ago and I just know that from my experiences of seeing, feeling it, sensing it all the way around the room, everywhere that I've been, there's such love for reflexology and this is such a beautiful time for us all to pull together so in love of reflexology and my love to you, be you, bring you to the equation. And this is Sue Ricks speaking to you as I go home to meet my lovely, lovely partner. And I can't wait to see him.